What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to more Black Desert. So today, not really sure what we're going to be doing. I was AFK all day, had stuff to do, and I just kind of got home a little bit ago. So, what to do? Um, not really sure. I think we got to do a Dark Rift. Barret is in Medaya. And so we got some new stuff today. Today was patch day. Kind of skimmed over it. Wasn't really sure what was happening. But anyway. Got a ferret. Uh, what is this? Sure, we'll just use some food. You know, lately I've just been kind of lazy and... Instead of using like a three or four food rotation, I've just been using cron foods. Not gonna lie, I'm lazy. All right, so let's go. Also, one thing is Tungred earrings are slowly going down in price. That's pretty nice. Well, I don't know, they might go up again just because, actually no, it would go down in price. Uh, so, recently they buffed some Valencia spots, and Achman was one of them. So, like Achman and Histria, you could get Tungrad earrings, and uh, I think Histria, you get Tungrad necklaces. So, when people grind to Achman, you get Tungrad earrings, and they doubled the spawn rate, so basically you just kill faster or kill more per hour. And uh, I guess that means the price is going to go down for Tungred earrings eventually over time. So that's neat. That means maybe by the time I have like 8 billion, Tet Tungred will actually be 8 billion. But yeah, slowly making my way up to... 62. I should probably just active grind more than like an hour a day. I just kind of burn my 200% uh, somewhere and then call it. So hopefully at least by next month or something I'll be 62. Which, you know, I could do in like... If I were to actually grind all day I could probably do it in I would say if I go for like 5% a day, one week. Wait, what kind of... Oh. Let me uh, recharge this real quick. Oh, got a guilty here. I don't know who that is. I wonder if they change anything for Star's End. The idea of this boss is just don't stand in front of him. Oh my god, he just high framed.
almost dead. Please, no crown stones. Usually with the distorted dead boxes, aka the red ones, um, I usually get crown stones, which is kind of sad. Whereas, like, even the weaker boxes, they give me something better. Out of curiosity, what do you guys use your loyalties on? I guess on new characters, you use it for the weight, but then, I don't know. don't really have anything else to use it on. I think Shy, the new class, might come out next week or something. I'm not really sure. Korea gets it next week for sure, though. Alright, game. Please, just... No Cron Stones. I'll open it at 24. Yikes. Alrighty, um, what's next? What do we do? Oh, farms are full. We could do that, but it's just not fun. Uh, oh yeah, let's do a few more of these Medaya quests. I know they might not be the most fun things to watch, but we gotta get them done eventually. And, I mean, there's only 18 quests, so it's like one or two more parts of these. I'm actually really close to uh, Master 21 gathering. That's cool. I don't actually gather as much as I used to. Don't follow the auto path. Let's take a shortcut. Okay, the shortcut's not really shorter because I don't know where I'm going. Find... Camo at the Ancient Ruins excavation site. Alright, dude. Oh, we get knowledge? Find the Ancient Ruins expert surveying. What the hell? Alright. going I remember doing this a few years ago but it's like I don't remember it like what is this curve what is that Jesus following the auto path in 2019 when I literally could have just jumped. Oh my god. Alright. Hold on. Going down. I remember doing this a while ago. Or is that just straight up old knowledge? Return to Neruda Shen. Isn't he in Altanova? Oh no. <gasps> oh, I got this. Don't worry. Don't panic. We got it. It's fine. Now, the question is how do you get out of here? Like a maze. 
please. Where did you come from? This can't possibly be the right play. Alright, back to Alta Nova. We'll get this quest done. You know what's funny? Like, two days ago, these are all sold out, and now it's going super down in price. People are finally selling them. So I told you guys, don't buy them at 400 mil. They'll just go down in price eventually. Just people who can't wait, or like lighting money on fire. I wonder how many people actually have a Tet Black Star already. I somehow don't think anyone has a pen one, but now that I think of it, like, what is the per or what is the chance of getting a pen black star at like 200 stack? Because if you think of it, a 150 stack or something is about a 7% chance to get Tet, right? And a Tet black star is the equivalent of like a pen, penzarka. And I guess that's okay. 7% is definitely kind of a higher chance because I know I got my Zarka at 135 and that was less than 5%. So technically, I think it is easier to get a Tet Black Star than a Pen Zarka. However, it is more expensive to craft from scratch, so. It's up to you. Honestly, right now, my Zarka is technically better because I have level one Capris in it, and just adding one Capris level makes it technically better. But it doesn't really matter to me that much. Speak with the villager managing the Altanova Arena. I did not know you could do that. Well, that was a shortcut. Speak with Mariam. Why do I have to talk to all these people? Like, you're literally right there. You're local. I'm just kind of here. Ho! Oh, there's a lot of quests. Speak with Bro Man. What a great name. Search for clues.
Uh... Could have sworn that option was not there before. What is this? Oh, you could buy Amity? Oh. I could have sworn I've hit those options, but okay. People got poisoned. Oh, there are NPCs over here? Oh, there's a sky balloon! They for I forgot they added those today! Yes, let's go look at it. So basically, it takes you like from Madaya to Calpheon. And... I don't know how long it takes to do that, but knowledge. Cost black stones. That's cool. Um, oh yeah, so... Back to looking for the suspicious liquid. Return to Neruda Shen. Maybe one day I'll care enough to get like 5,000 quests. see anything. Uh, let's meet the outpost. If you're about to tell me, I'm going to have to go all the way out there and then come back here 
You better believe I'm never doing this again. Hello. I love my horse. I just wish you would go tier 9. At this point, 22 fails later. Just like Pikachu. You don't want to evolve, but it's okay. I'll be happy with whatever you choose. You could even be a Pegasus. And I'll be happy with it. I'd prefer if you were a Doom Horse or a Unicorn. But even if you were a Pegasus, I will be okay with that. It kind of, like, speaking of um, dream horses and all that stuff, it must feel bad if you hit a dream horse and it has worse stats than the tier 8. Because I've seen some on the market at level 30, and it's base stats. Like, the speed is what you're mostly going for, right? It is pretty low, and I've... I think my current horse could be faster than some others that I've seen. So that's like a huge yikes. If you spent literally tens of bill or like, yeah, tens of billions clicking for a dream horse and you get one that's like, the speed is worse than your tier 8 courser, that must feel bad. But at this point, honestly, I just don't even care. I, I want a dream horse. Every one of my guildies are like already has one except me. 22 fails in. Oh, oh yeah, good call. Roll your dice. Whale Tendon Potion. Alright. Defeat the Saucins. 0 out of 30. If only Medaya was not AP capped. I would happily face roll people. If I flagged on them. Oh, what is that? Am I forgetting to wear a piece of gear? Oh, what? Oh, I'm wearing a plus five, okay. Yeah, that plus five uh, helm is when I uh, sometimes grind in different spots. And like, I know I could survive it like Ronaros or something if I'm just trying to grind there real quick. People actually grinding here. One, there's like no event going on. Oh shit. They duo grinding saucins in 2019. All oh, all right, whatever. I'll just leave them alone. Journey into a bigger world, too. Hey, 
Hey, free hards and sharps. Oh, snap. I forgot to get these for today. I've been lazy, so I just get the awakened ones and then run them like once a month with my guildies. Actually, in real talk, though, getting the Awakened Scrolls, you get so much more, like, uh, Hunter Seals and Blackstones than the regular ones. So, if you just, if you play with your guildies, just play with your friends once a month, and then it is, like, the easiest money you'll ever see. Defeat the tough sausage soldiers. Dude, why can't you just give me both of these quests at once? <clears throat> I will flag on someone if I have to. I am going to get this quest done. First try it. First try. Hey, first try. Whoever designed this quest line, well, I just have to ask, did you play this yourself? Because I don't know if you anyone actually enjoys this. Return to Naruto Shen. So, back in the day when we were doing the adventure log quest, just for the uh, Bartali's, like, adventure 10, whatever. It took me so long. Or let me just show you where it is. So, Igor Bartali's adventure log 10. Obtain all the knowledge on the creatures of Madaya territory. So, if you go to, like, ecology, Madaya... Creatures of Madaya. Getting all of this knowledge, it took me a good like four hours. And like I felt actually sick because I was farming a low level area for so long. Getting no gains. All for the uh, reward. But yeah, I think uh, there's going to be adding a new Bartali thing in the near future. I don't know when, but supposedly it's supposed to give you like two or three extra sheet AP. And that's pretty nice. That could help me boost me up into the 290 bracket. So I'm super hyped about that. I think 290 is actually obtainable for me in 
2019. All I have to do is get two Tet Tungrads. I mean, I say that, it's easier said than done. But, um, get two Tet Tungrads, I'll be at 289. And if I don't want to do the Bartali thing, I can get myself a nice Tet Tungrad belt or a Tungrad ring. I think I'd probably go with the Tungrad belt though, if I had to pick one. But that one is also super expensive, or I could just Capris my dandy, and that's significantly cheaper. I might just Capris my dandy. So I don't actually know how much it costs to get from level 3 to 5, but I'm pretty sure it's like 1,300 Capra Stones. And that's about, I would say, 3, three bill. Which is not bad, I could do it. Ask Lucy to send more supplies. How many more quests do we have in here? Five more quests? Alright, let's just get... Let's knock them out, and then we're done. Finally done with the uh, Medaya quest line. I wish they gave you something good for it, though. Like, here, have a... Have a hundred stack for completing the new one. order inform them that thing will be delayed how do you guys do 20,000 quests in this game Wait, hold on. So the past three quests I'm looking at is like, here, get the order from the dude. All right, talk to the next person about the order. All right, talk, get the order done. Tell the person that the order's delayed. What? Why is this like six different quest steps? Steal whatever is hiding and open your inventory. Ask storage keeper Deve about the box. Oh, we're done after this. Hell yeah. All right, this cursed chest. What does it give? Is it going to give me one of those cursed corrupt crystals?
Oh no, we have another. Okay, let me just see. Do, do these quests give me anything? What is this? An 8 mil crystal and 3 skill points? That's actually worth a lot. Alright, so let me split the recording and then we'll start this new quest line, Reliving the Darkness. I'll see you guys in a second.